Hello folks and welcome back to Vintage Story. Since last time, the game is patched. We're now on operating on patch uh, 0.1.16. Um, so, we have new things to do. Um, kind of. Uh, I'm going to make a little list, list here of stuff that's relevant to me, because I've added stuff that's not relevant to me. Like, there's an if you play multiplayer, there's now a server-wide auction house that you can use to sell items between players. That's not relevant to me. Uh, what is relevant to me? Things like they've added crates. You can make crates now, I think. Uh, so crates, so you, can, you can make a crate by crafting planks and, and logs, which gives you, it is a one block uh, wheelless, gearless, uh storage. Um, it has no gi, and it basically is all about storing a single item, so you can store up to, up to like 25 stacks of the same item inside a single block, um, which is cool. They added trunks as well, wooden trunks, which is basically a 2x2 two two chest, which is literally a 2x2 two two chest. Um, so, for example, we can get all that's the wooden stuff. Uh, oh, they, they changed. Oh, they made certain things more uh, 3D. Well, so leather is now 3D. Leather now has a 3D model rather than a, sp a sprite. Um, uh, so we can make some. We can make some chests, couldn't we? We could make some chests, some trunks. Um, they added fruit trees. Fruit trees are now a thing. They're not near anywhere near me, of course, because oh hello, so that's another one of the changes. They added fruit trees near me, of course. Um, not near me, because this part of the world has already been generated. But there are fruit trees, uh, which take a long time to grow. They are like a, they are like a year-long growth thing. Uh, but they can make trees. We can make with trees. We can have, have the fruit press. Your trees. You have like blueberries. Uh, sorry, uh, red apples, pink apples, cherries, peaches, pears, etc. They all have different growth growth temperatures as well. Um, and you can press them. You can get fruit. You can make a fruit press, and you can put them into fruit juice. Uh, you also have a. You can now. Um, is it this brew? There's another brewing and distilling of alcohol, so you can make um, a boiler and a condenser. Lead solder bars. Oh God. Okay, so we need we need to have lead solder ingots, which is made by combining lead and tin. Okay, so we need to find lead. The Galena, we've, we've been ignoring so much. We need to find that. So that's solder stuff over there. The condenser as well. So we need to find we need to find lead or silver. Silver solder is also requires... Oh, that's tin at least. So that's not too bad. But again, finding silver is a pain. Um, but yeah, you can now make um, brandy, whiskey, or vodka using fruit. And then you can also redistill that into pure alcohol. Um, what else did they add? They added new mushrooms, a bunch of new mushrooms. Rifters changed. Rifters no longer spawn randomly. Rifters now only spawn... Drifters only now spawn near rifts. Which is like this. Uh, so drifters only spawn now near rifts. Being near a rift... Drains... Your stability drastically. They can open and close as far as I understand it. Um... But they only spawn near rifts. Uh, drifters now also throw stones, so you can no longer hide on top of a pillar, if that was one thing you did before. Uh, they'll throw stones to knock you off it. Um, we also have now added shields. Uh, so, yeah, you can make a shield. You hold it in your offhand. Uh, if you're passively doing it, the block chance is low, but if you're actively block, if you're actively blocking by crouching, your block chance is much higher. You have crude shield. You have uh, blackguard square shield. That's if you're, I'm assuming that's if you're a blackguard. Requires the merciless trait. Yep. Uh, we have re reinforced round shield. Where's the? A plate of metal of some kind of at least bronze. It looks like. No, specifically bismuth, bronze, iron, steel, or meteoric iron. 
The tin bronze, okay, the tin bronze will do the trick. At least bronze, then. Gives you that. Uh, reinforced steel with, with, with plain leather or colored leather. Orange leather or black leather, which requires you to have dyes. What else do they change? They changed ground storage for things like stuff and pots, so you can now store things on the ground in the middle, and you can now store your boots on the ground as well, in case you wish to do that. Uh, what else did they change? They changed how liquids work. Well, liquid storage purposes, you can now con you can now transfer liquids using bowls. Before you could only do it with 2.4 liters. Did they just lose a bunch of liquid of of li of? No, it's they changed how it works, didn't it? So it's, it's the same amount as before. It's just it is in a much smaller space. No, they did change it. It was 50 liters of water. Big, oh, they rounded it down. It used to be 50 liters. They changed it to... We got. We lost a bunch of stuff here. Food or misses. Right, so I think we can get what... So buckets do 10 liters of water. Let's go refill our buckets then, because we just lost a lot of water, uh, honey. We lost a lot of honey. Um... Now they've added so buckets hold 10 liters and transfer in quantities of one liter at a time. Uh, bowls hold a liter and transfer in 0.1 of a liter at a time. And there's now they've added jugs, which I'll have a look in a second. Jugs which hold three liters and transfer in 0.3 of a liter at a time. We just, yeah, we, we, we did lose... We must have had something like 3 liters of honey left, and that got uh, divided by 10. Oh, that's a shame. Well, no no, no honey until next year. So yes, yeah, so now we've added um, jugs. A jug holds 3 liters and uh, spits out at 0.3 liters of a time. You can now consume liquids of any kind from a bucket, bowl, or a jug. So you can drink lick, you can drink milk, you can drink fruit juice or alcohol from buckets, bowls, or liquids, or bowl, buckets, bowls, or jugs. Uh, you can now make bread from a bowl. Uh, apparently, they, they tweaked crop times as well. Crops, it's, it's not relevant at the moment because of. Oh, it's a good point. Um, hang on. Let's see what's happened to our crops. Yeah, things got too cold for everything here, including the, parnip, the parsnips. Damn. Um, crops will take a lot longer to grow. But they'll do so most crops have double the growth time, but double the yield. And apparently, uh, rye has been changed. Rye is now... Yeah, cold resistance until minus 12. So cold, rye is actually now a cold weather crop. Rye is good until very cold weathers, which is... Rye is better than carrots now, I think. Um, so wait, yeah, rye is, rye is now a cold weather crop. It's better suited for the north. Um, um, oh, apparently hair... They've changed it so that uh, hares, when hares eat crops, they, don't, they no longer consume the crop. Sorry, they consume the crop, but they no longer consume the plant. They leave behind a dead plant, which drops a seed. So hares no longer cause seed loss. Which is a huge change, actually. Because um, we've lost several things in the past by a rabbit getting in there and eating the thing and consuming the whole thing. Now, apparently they leave... They now leave behind a dead crop. Which does not... Um, might as well cook that. Which does not... Um, which means you do not lose... the seed, which is a welcome change. Um, as well as that, as well as those changes, which, which are the main ones that seem to have affected me, I also added a couple of mods in. Uh, I added the stone quarry mod and the um, metal bits recovery mod. 
Oh, he also did change. Oh, yeah. They changed swords. Swords now have an animation. You can't no longer just, you no longer swing at them endlessly. It's now a concerted effort to swing with a sword. Um, you can no longer, like, keep spamming attack with a sword anymore. Which kind of means I want to get myself hands on a shield. I will consider myself making myself a shield shortly. Um... Yes, I added, I added the stone quarry mod, so if we go quarries, quarry guides. So you basically you make, they added a couple, a couple of things. Basically, you make you make some you make some plugs. Um, you make plugs out of a metal of some kind, a copper plug or a steel plug. You can use those plugs to separate out a huge slab of stone. Uh, so copper is a three by three, bronze is a four by four, iron is a six by six. Steel is a seven by seven, and then you, you. So after you've made a massive slab of metal, you can mace, and you can use you can use different chisels to give you different bits bits of rock. So you get you can get um, polished stone, you can get uh, wedge chisels, you can get rough, you can get you can get polished stone, you can get straight up bricks, you can get straight up rocks. You can get uh, straight up stones. You can make a rubble storage place to store stone, gravel, and sand in it. Um, eat the meats. What time is it? It is 21, 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Um, and I also added the, yeah, the, the metal um, salvaging thing. So whenever if every two voxels you two to three voxels you split from an ingot you get back as a bit that you can resmelt and i think whenever you just whenever you loot whenever you break an, a metal tool you can get back something that you can resmelt into uh that's already ripe those are ripening for three days six days 13 days seven days okay um yes yeah, so you, you can you can you, you apparently can get back Stuff that you can re-grab. No, the, pu the, pu the pickled pumpkins are done. The pickled onions are done. Um, yeah, we got some pies and stuff to be eaten here as well. But yeah, it means it means that I think was it I tested it out on a I mean a. a before I edited the mods and I backed up the world. And I tested out both the, the, the quarry stuff, which works quite nicely, and also the the the, the iron to so the metal stuff. I made myself an iron uh, knife blade. And because an iron knife is essentially less than half an ingot, you get, I think, 11 bits of iron back when you make an iron knife blade. And 20 iron bits is a new ingot. So if you make two iron knife blades, you have you get more than an ingot's worth back because... It's less than an ingot's worth to. It's less than half an ingot, voxel wise, to make a knife blade, which is a nice. You know, it's good. It means you don't waste metals. Um, it is middle of winter still. Uh, I do want to get myself hands on some fruit trees eventually. Some of the eggs. I do want to get myself some fruit trees. I'm just going to chop down this. I don't think they'll grow here once because the, once the roof is down, so we'll keep them removed. Maybe maybe that's wrong. They're not. They aren't growing over here. Why are they growing over here? If they don't grow over here, why did that regrow? Or did I just miss it the first time around? One fertile egg out of three. No fertile eggs yet. Okay. Right. Nothing's going in there. Right. Let's put these eggs. These eggs have a five days. These eggs are fresh for 15. Not sure why these eggs are fresh for 15. Oh, because they're stored in there. Uh, point three times. Oh, that makes sense, I guess. <laughs> sure. 
Why not? Um, bunch of grains. Um, apparently, you can cook cheese with egg. I was looking at what what what, do you, what meals you can combine with cheese. But if you go look into meal making, uh. Meat stew, no cheese. Vegetable stew, no cheese. Porridge, no cheese. But you can do scrambled eggs with cheese. So two slots must be eggs, then you can have cheese in the second slot. Or like between one cheese and one vegetables. So you can have like scrambled eggs with onions and cheese. And two fruit, two honey. Make a jam. Anyway, time is it? It is now 11 p.m. It's time to sleep. We'll have a look in the morning for new things to grab hold of. But yeah, new changes. We need new, I need to find a new world, don't I? I need to find a new world because we want to find... I want to find fruit trees. I want to find some fruit trees. I think in my temperature range here, we're looking for apples. It is a cold... We live in a cold place. Uh, so apples are what we're looking for, I think. Apples are the, the fruit that... The fruit that probably best work here. We can make apple brandy and stuff of that nature. Apple juice. Right, let's grab some, let's grab, let's grab a pie. Grab a pie. Grab a cheese. Let's see if we can make this scrambled eggs thing, shall we? So we need what? I need eight eggs. Eight eggs. A cheese. We've stripped the wax from the cheese. Which is a different, which is a change as well. Like when you open the cheese up, you strip the wax from it. It used to be apparently there was a bug that when you did that, you could re-wax the cheese and, and refresh the freshness. That no longer happens. And we'll grab four onions. Right, can, can you make this then? Scrambled eggs. With cheddar cheese garnish and onions. And we'll grab four firewood. Light this up. That cook. And put this back there. You still going? Fifty two percent still ticking away nicely. Let's look at let's go look at the let's go look at our Quick gander in here. That rooster needs to fertilize those eggs. Let's look at how our milk production is going on. Here, what? Oh god, no! That happened as well, didn't it? Last it all. Okay, well we just lost the little of milk. Damn it! I should have. Watch that. Damn. Well, that's kind of ruined that, hasn't it? Oh, I just lost. That kind of just reset everything over here. <clears throat> Damn it. That is not good. That is not good at all. Well. Our, I think our cheese production has stalled for the year. Our cheese production has stalled for the year. Oh well. Um, let's see, what do I want to do? What's the plan now? There's now that milk is kind of... Because we have, what, three days left of milking? I mean, I might as well milk it. I can make it. I can make a single cheese wheel with twenty-five, can't I? So, which one of you is still technically lactating for six days? Eh, 
No, six days is enough to make... I'll check in the evening. But six days is enough to make uh, one more bucket full of cheese. One more barrel worth of cheese, so... That's weird that that, that happened. There was, a, there, was a, there, was a, there was a ten times shortening of that. Um, in the meanwhile... Shield. Shield, 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 shield. The rift's gone. The rift has closed. Okay. Um, so what do I need for a shield? I'm gonna go for a reinforced round shield. We'll probably give it some leather as well. Reinforced 300 or 50, so it makes use makes sense to give it some shit like that. So what do I need? I need a metal plate of some kind. It doesn't. It doesn't seem to care what we what uh, what you use for it. So we'll do it with bronze. Get a couple of bronze bars. Warm those up. Turn on the health hammer. Meantime, while that's, oh, that's I, was, I was gonna say in the meantime while that's heating up, no, because I don't want to lose the weight. Once it's hot, we can shove it in there to do the plant, to do the plate, and then we don't have to worry about it anymore. Okay, so hang on. So you're still okay-ish. We're growing next year. Ish. Ish being the operative term. It's apparently a soil quality doesn't recover it in the winter as well, which is not great. I think it would, but apparently that is not the case. I also want to make myself just eight more eight more skeps. There's a mod that adds, that improves um, honey production as well, which I'm kind of I'm kind of curious about. We have there, we have, what's, what's the, 400 protein, 240 dairy, 350 veg. It's still hot, so it's not going to tell us how long it's going to go off, but it is interesting to see nonetheless. Right, you hot? Right. Uh, tin bronze plate, please. Now we can go have a look at the resin. See if the resin has respawned yet. Um, but what are the plans going forward is the question I ask. We're making the shield now. I can't see if we can find the new mushrooms as well, but all that requires you going to a new place. I need to go to somewhere the world hasn't generated yet, otherwise we're not gonna be able to see a damn thing. See there's no the resin hasn't respawned yet. Um I wanna find fruit trees, I wanna find a lot of stuff. Is there any I'm kinda of sad that all the teleporters we found all the transporters we found took us to even colder places. I was, I'm still hoping to at some point be able to see a... Uh, being able to see a a, a... a tropical area. Right, let's get some... Well, it doesn't seem to matter. Right? It doesn't care what we use for anything here. It's all the same. So I'll grab the reinforced round shield. Grab some leather for it. Gives us a leather reinforced round shield with plain leather. I'm assuming that needs to go into offhand, right? Yeah, I'm assuming that's offhand. You can do that and hit offhand. 
X and you can go 85% chance to, to, to block some damage there. Um, right. A lot of things basically telling me to go ahead and do my explore. A lot of things is going means go ahead and do your explore. Go somewhere you haven't gone before so you can generate a new world and see if you can find some fruit trees. I'm not going to plant them in winter, but... Okay, can you find it? Who's ready for milking? You? No, don't be stressed. Be less stressed. Ow. Your generation too. Be less stressed. Really? You're being stressed for a long time. And be milked. There you go. It's also your generation too. You're not supposed to be, and then becomes aggressive. Your generation, generation two, is the, is the generation that's supposed to be fine with this. Hang on. Whoa. Did we not get a full ten liters of milk? Did we get? Did, what happened? I drank milk. Didn't I? I bloody drank milk from the bloody. Oh, for God's sake! I drank milk from the from the bucket. Being able to drink from buckets now is going to be a bloody nightmare. I drunk milk from the bloody bucket. Mmm. Not sure how much I like that. Not sure how much I like that at all. Right. The rift over there now. I like the effect of the rift, to be honest. I'm not going to get that close to it because it's it really plays hob with your temporal stability. But you see the basically the effect of a temporal storm inside the rift. Oh, that reminds me of something else that it changed. Apparently, is whenever a temporal storm ends, half the drifters that spawned disappeared. Not all of them, but at least half of them do. So you don't have to be that stressed out over it. Um. I mean, what do we want to head? I want to head somewhere. Ooh. The cold is definitely spread here. This is, a, this is a lake, isn't it? This is not... This is water. Yeah, there, this is ice under this. It's, got, it's gotten very cold. This is, this is all... This is all... This is all lake. Maybe we'll head, maybe we'll head down that way. If you head a further south for warmth, and b, uh, I don't think we've, we've been that way. We've been that way. We've been that way. I don't think I've been down there. I'm not very far anyway. We went to the iron mine, but other than that, I haven't really progressed much further. We'll keep going that way. Is this where I was grabbing a bunch of. It must be. Let's read the amount of gaps and the stuff. This must be where we were mining the uh, ports before. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I gotta really watch out for that milk drinking thing. Like the second, you, the second you fulfill the the you fill you've managed to milk the cow, you gotta switch away from the bucket in case you right kick too right click too quickly. Yeah, south we're gonna go eventually. We'll go south eventually. Nothing, nothing really much happened today. I made myself a shield, and that was pretty much it. Just because, of, um, you yeah, know, it's kind of interesting to see what where 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 this goes from here. Fifty six, so that's almost ready as well. Because fifty nine is when it's gonna stop. 
So I guess one thing we could do is do another filling of the... Yeah, we could do that. Go for, go for another filling of... Of the... Of the... Of the charcoal pit. We'll do that next episode, I think. One thing I want to do... Because when, when I was exploring... Because when I was testing the quarry out in my test world, I tested it out in the old cave over there. The old cave we were quarrying a long time ago. Not sure why I tested it out there, but I did. Um, and I fell down a hole. <laughs> Didn't quite die, and it was only a test world, but I fell down a hole there, and I kind of want to get rid of it. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna do that now. Uh, just while I'm talking, so I'm doing something in the background while I'm thinking about things. Um, Also need to find the Galena. It was like and those We know where there's Galena, don't we? Where there's where there's lead. We know where there's lead. Okay, so let's do this. It's this. And if we go for I think it's what is it? that got some cob all right let's go quickly go fill up the hole but i'm gonna go there's the galena thing at the back of the house somewhere around the back of the house there's galena i think it's gonna be roughly where our pit kilns currently are now, where is this hole this is the hole i fell down here it was an unpleasant surprise and a mess so i'm gonna just stop that from happening ever again. Best I can. Use cob, because cob gets even cob grows over. Cob unlike packed dirt, crob cob uh like gets things to grow over it, which is nice. But there you go. Hopefully that won't happen ever again. And technically what I could do is just put BD fertility on Yeah, I could just do that, didn't I? In which case that was never relevant, but. I could, I could have done that with pack dirt then. There you go. It's no longer a problem. Um, there you go. Make it a little bit more natural. Right. See if we can remember where the Galena is. Oh, this might have been the hole as well. It's not, a, it's not as bad a hole, but it's still a nightmarish hole. In which case, since we're going to put stuff on top of it, I'm going to do it with pack dirt. That's peat as well. There we go, grab that. Right. There was still a collapse there. Okay, that should be fine now. Good. Now it's 34 minutes, so I want to see if we can find the yeah, we'll do it next time. We'll have a we'll have a snooze and I'll do it next time. So we can find where the bloody peat, where the galena is. Because we need that solder if I want to make, I want to make myself a distillery, you know? I can make booze now, so why would I not make booze? <laughs> I like my brandy, let's make some brandy, right? My brandy and my cognac. We'll see about it next time. Anyway, folks, I'll catch you all next time. See you then. Bye-bye.